My future in-laws are planning to visit for the first time, and I've been frantically trying to fix up my guest room over the past month. My sister and her husband once stayed in this guest room, and the next morning my brother-in-law said he'll never sleep in that room again because he had nightmares all night that giant spiders were coming out of the large hole in the ceiling right above his bed. So there's been some drywall patching, along with new carpet, new window, a paint job, and a new bed and furniture. The last thing I wanted to do was make a simple set of matching nightstands for beside the bed. After settling on a height and width that I thought would work with the lamps I wanted to use, I jumped on the computer to work on a design. I started with the tabletop, which I wanted to be 16 inches square and 2 foot tall. Then I drew a flat plane to work on underneath the table so I could start drawing the legs. I actually drew with my finger using the touchscreen a rough shape that I had in mind and then came back in on top using arcs and bezier curves to smooth it out. Using the offset tool, I expanded the shape out to half an inch width that I was picturing. A couple iterations later, I had a leg shape that I thought would work. So I pulled the flat surface out 3 eighths of an inch and made duplicates for the three other legs. I added in some cross bracing, which I plan to cut out of thinner material. Also duplicated and shrunk down the tabletop to make a smaller shelf down below. One last little thing I did was put a flat spot on the bottom of each leg so the table would sit a little bit better on the floor. At this point I was feeling pretty good about the design, so I broke all the pieces down and got them ready to send to the plasma CNC table to be cut out. I always draw the material I'm cutting from so I know all the pieces will fit on it. After that, it was out to the barn for Drake and I to get to work. I got the table loaded up with the 6 inch wide strip of 3 8 inch metal that I was going to cut the legs out of. The table doesn't know on its own where the workpiece is. It's up to the operator to get the workpiece aligned with the axis of the machine. I centered the torch on the edge and ran it along the y-axis. Needed a little bit of an adjustment, and then I checked it again. There's not much room to spare on this piece of metal I was cutting out of, so it was really important to get it just right. From SketchUp, I export to SheetCam, which converts the SketchUp shapes into G-code, and then I transfer the file to the dedicated laptop that runs the CNC table with Mach 3. Last thing to do is to set the workpiece origin at the lower left corner and hit run. When I'm cutting heavier plate like this, I always chip off the slag that splashes up from the initial pierce. I've learned that the slag can hit the torch head as it comes back around to finish the cut, which can be a real bummer. I exported the cross members from SketchUp and got them cutting out of some 3 16 inch plate. I quickly found though that I nested the pieces too tightly and a piece tipped out and knocked the torch. I'm really thankful for the magnetic torch mount, which I've tested uh, too too many times while I've been learning to run the machine. I spread apart the remaining pieces a smidge more and got them cutting again, with no problems this time. The chipping hammer takes off most of the slag, and a flap disc on the angle grinder gets what's left 
and also softens the edges a bit. I'll make sure the visiting in-laws are up to date on their tetanus shot before I show them to their rooms, but hopefully they won't need it. I used some large washers to space the cross piece in the middle of the legs and got it all clamped down. Decided to grab the TIG welder for this so it would be splatter free and a clean weld. And I can always use the TIG welding practice. I left one joint unwelded so I could interlock the two sides. In SketchUp I added notches to the cross members so they would lock together. One notch needed just a little bit of cleanup so they would sit flat together. Once I got it cleaned out though, they sat down flat on the welding table and I got both sides squared up and tacked them together. I wanted to do something a little more exciting than just a flat piece of plate for the tabletop. I thought it might look cool to cut a bunch of smaller strips of differing widths, weld them together, and then cut out the tabletop shape from that. The table will be 16 inches square when cut, so I gave myself an extra inch for the rough shape, making it 17 inches square. I also made a smaller plate for the lower shelf. Once I had all the pieces cut, I used the flap disc to remove the burrs from the bandsaw so all the pieces would sit flush against each other, and then I tacked them. I made sure all the pieces were sitting flat against the table. It's so easy for grindings or other debris to keep a strip raised up slightly and then the tabletop's uneven when you flip it over. Once they were all tacked, I clamped it down and gave it some heavier welds. I smoothed up the weld bead just a little bit so it'll sit down flat on the CNC table. A little persuasion from the hammer helped flatten out a couple pieces that weren't perfect. And then they were ready to be cut. I was a little nervous for this cut because I'd already had quite a bit of work into it by this point. If something went wrong, I wasn't going to be able to scoot up just a little bit and cut again like I did on the brackets before. But luckily it cut great and didn't have any problems for either piece. On these I radiused the corners and slightly tapered the sides inward just a little bit to give it a little bit more shape. I always like how the metal looks after going across it with the wire brush on the angle grinder. 
It still looks like dull metal, but I think it just makes it look clean and touchable. After finding the center point, I positioned the base and got it welded. I tacked the lower shelf in place, right side up, so I could make sure it was centered as well. And then flipped it upside down again to give it some stronger welds in an easier position. After going across the whole table one more time with the wire brush and flap disc to remove any splatter or sharp edges, I wiped it down with some metal cleaner to remove all the oil and dirt. Lastly, I applied a coat of matte clear enamel to protect it and keep it from rusting. I like using matte so it doesn't look glossy and looks more like bare metal once it's dried. Well. I guess the guest room is as ready as it's ever going to be for soon-to-be in-laws to come over for a visit. They said they just wanted to get away on a quick holiday and to meet my family before the wedding next summer. But I know they're really coming over on a reconnaissance mission with the intention of finding out where the heck this place is that their daughter is planning on calling home in the near future. A set of custom-made nightstand tables is not going to make or break their opinion of the place. I'm well aware of this. But, hey, I thought it couldn't hurt. <laughs>